let's see how we can avoid that when we transfer poses from Das Studio into Unreal Engine. Yeah, not a good look. I mean, look at the eyes. That's just crazy. OMG. Yeah, so this is a thing that happens when you import poses as animations into Unreal Engine with Genesis 8 and 8.1 characters. Genesis 9 characters don't suffer from this. So I'll talk you through this in a moment. First of all, in Das Studio, you would go and apply a pose to your character. I'm still using Thea here and I'm using the the standing C pose from the Genesis 8 starter essentials. And then what you do is go over to File, Send to Dash to Unreal with your whole character selected. You give this a name, like in my case, I'm saying standing C. And then under asset type here, you have two choices actually. You can say pose or you can say animation. Pose, I don't really know how to work with pose assets, but it will create a pose asset inside Unreal Engine. I just don't know how to use them properly. so. I'm going to use an animation, same outcome. It's technically a single frame animation if you only have a single pose, and that's going to work just fine for us. I'm going to use the defaults and hit accept. And that should do that. Here we go, there's standing C. So if I wanted to apply this to my character, then I would go and obviously select them first. And then under animation mode, this is likely set to something like animation blueprint like this. So you want to switch that over to animation asset. And then you can pick one from the list of poses that apply. So this was walking and this one was standing. So they both have this particular issue. And so we need to fix these animations and tell them that we're using a custom character. So the way to do this is the easiest way is to just click on the animation asset here, or you can go and find them and open them from here. It doesn't really matter. So this one is standing C and you can see in the preview, we have the same problem. So to fix it up here over on the retarget source, in fact, not the source, but the retarget source asset, you're going to go and click on where it says none, and then you're going to find your character. So in my case, it's Thea or whatever your skeletal mesh is called. Click that and then this issue will go away. So that's fantastic. You just have to do this on a per animation basis. And I'll show you a trick of how to fix this for multiple animations at the same time as well. Then you can go and close this and you'll see, well, technically the issue is still there. And that's just because Unreal Engine hasn't quite refreshed this. So you can either just switch animation mode over to blueprint and then back to asset. And then that pose is fixed. Or you can dial in a different pose or different animation and then go back to that. So standing C looks like this is working fine, fine and dandy, but the other one is still not fixed, which is the walking A animation. Yeah, that's still OMG. That is still terrible. So I could go and do the same thing again now for my next pose. But if I had 20 poses, that's going to be quite tedious. So thankfully, there's another way to do this via the so-called property matrix. And that is an Unreal Engine feature that you can go into your content browser and then select the poses or the assets that you want fixed. So it could be two, could be 20. And then you go right click and head over to asset actions and then and you head over to bulk edit via property matrix. And when you open that, then this comes up. And this now lets you change attributes for multiple of these things. So if you had 20 things selected, you'd see all of them here. And so we want to go to the right hand side in the first one here that says animation, open that up. And then there's the retarget source asset. We have multiple values here. So we want to pick the one that we need in there. So if you click on if you open your content browser, we want to just set the skeletal mesh in here. So if you select that and then you click that little arrow icon, then this is what we're using. And that can now be saved. Control Shift S and then you can close this down and then every animation will be fixed that way. So once again, we don't see it here because we're going to need to change this over to a different one, then go back to the one that we've just fixed. And now that is also fixed. Yeah. So this is how you save the monster face. So it's important to note this only happens on Genesis 8 and 8.1 characters, but not on Genesis 9 characters. So they don't suffer from the same problem. Hope this was helpful.